Kuchisik Onna, also known as Slit Mouth Woman, is a malevolent figure in Japanese urban legends and folklore. Described as the malicious spirit of a woman, she partially covers her face with a mask or other item and carries a pair of scissors. She is most often described as having long, straight, black hair, pale skin. The original story of Kuchisik Onna comes from the Heian period of Japan's history, roughly 1200-800 years ago. A beautiful woman, either wife or concubine to a samurai, was extraordinarily vain. She always were very conscious about her beauty. She always asked everyone that if she was beautiful. Her husband weren't happy of her behavior. He assumed that she was cheating on him. When he discovered her treachery, he slit open her mouth from ear to ear, giving her a Glasgow smile, and asked her, who will think you are beautiful now? But actually the story takes a creepy turn when the ghost of the Kuchisik Honor began appearing in Japan in the 1970s. The story goes that a woman would appear to people traveling alone at night. The woman wore a surgical mask, not terribly uncommon in Japan, and would ask if the traveler thought she was pretty. If they said no, she would kill them immediately or at least slash their faces the same as hers, usually with a long pair of scissors. If the hapless victim said yes, she would remove the mask and ask, how about now, revealing her bloody, gaping wounds. If the person said no at this second point, she would again kill them, slashing open their mouth. If, however, the person said yes again, they still would not be safe. She would follow them home and kill them on the threshold of their house. The only way to survive the encounter with this ghoulish creature is to answer yes the first time and so-so, or average, the second time, which caused the Kuchisik Honor to pause and ponder the response, giving the victim a chance to escape. Without this distraction, the victim cannot escape the ghost as she simply reappears before them if they try to run. Mostly people saying that, after all it is just a story.